Tesla's early mover advantage won't keep it at the top forever. Well, Toyota will see to it. Their answer to Musk's hegemony, solid-state batteries. After years of focusing on hybrids and lagging behind in all-electric adoption, Toyota has unveiled a solid-state battery prototype that promises over 1,000 kilometers of range and ultra-fast charging in under 15 minutes. With over $13 billion invested in battery innovation and a rollout strategy that begins with Lexus and expands to mass market models by 2028, Toyota isn't just catching up. It may just as well crush Tesla's lead. Let's see how things are playing out. Toyota's late entry and rapid acceleration in EVs is a sign of the company changing fast. For much of the 2010s, Toyota held firm in its belief that hybrid technology was the most practical path to carbon neutrality. This conviction was embodied in its flagship hybrid, the Toyota Prius, which debuted in 1997 and became one of the best-selling hybrid vehicles in the world. By 2022, Toyota had sold over 20 million hybrid vehicles globally. However, the tide has now turned. There is not going to be enough room for the middle ground in the future. It's either or, and Toyota realizes it. That being said, Toyota's pivot toward full electrification is beginning to take tangible shape. In 2023, Toyota sold approximately 150,000 EVs worldwide. This was a major leap. Just a year earlier, the Japanese automaker could only manage to sell a little over 24,000 EVs, mostly through its BZ4X crossover SUV and a few other regional offerings. The nearly five-fold increase in 2023 EV sales reflects both a sharp change in Toyota's production strategy and a growing global demand for fully electric options. The increase also reflects Toyota's recognition that hybrid dominance alone will not secure its place in the future automotive market. The market is changing, so is Toyota. Part of this new approach is Toyota's decision to use Lexus, the company's luxury division, as the vanguard for its most advanced electric technologies. Lexus, which sold over 824,000 vehicles globally in 2023, is not only a symbol of high-end automotive engineering, but also a strategic testing ground for Toyota's most premium innovations. The Lexus RZ450e, launched in 2022, marked the brand's first dedicated battery electric vehicle. Designed on the ETNGA platform shared with the BZ4X, the RZ450e reflects Toyota's attempt to marry luxury performance with electric efficiency. Moreover, Lexus has announced plans to go fully electric by the year 2035, with some markets like Europe and North America transitioning even earlier. This staggered rollout allows Toyota to fine-tune its battery technologies, powertrain software, and production logistics before scaling up to mass-market Toyota-branded electric vehicles. The company's renewed vision is encapsulated in its Beyond Zero initiative, which is a wide-reaching electrification campaign announced back in 2021. As part of this initiative, Toyota has committed to achieving annual sales of 1.5 million electric vehicles by 2026. This target is, honestly, pretty ambitious, considering that, as recently as 2020, Toyota's electric vehicle output was negligible in global terms. To support this transition, the automaker has pledged roughly $13.5 billion in battery development and electrification by the year 2030. This substantial financial commitment extends far beyond the mere development of new vehicle platforms. It represents a holistic and deeply integrated strategy aimed at securing Toyota's leadership in the next generation of mobility. The investment is strategically allocated across the entire electric vehicle ecosystem, beginning with foundational battery research and development. This includes not only enhancing the energy density and reducing the cost of current lithium-ion technologies, but also pioneering the next frontier, solid-state batteries. Toyota is actively conducting rigorous real-world trials of solid-state technology, which promises revolutionary gains in range, charging speed, and safety. Furthermore, a significant portion of this capital is dedicated to the complex realm of software integration and digital architecture. Recognizing that future vehicles are as much about code as they are about mechanics, Toyota is building the sophisticated software platforms necessary for advanced driver assistance systems, seamless over-the-air updates, and deeply connected personalized in-car experiences. This digital backbone is crucial for competing in the modern automotive landscape. 
To translate these innovations into tangible products, the investment is also fueling the construction and retooling of manufacturing infrastructure worldwide. This involves establishing dedicated, state-of-the-art EV production lines designed for maximum efficiency and scale, ensuring that these advanced vehicles can be produced reliably and at a competitive cost. Toyota's global production network is also being restructured to support its electric ambition. In the United States, Toyota announced a $1.3 billion investment in its Kentucky plant in 2024 to prepare for EV production with the first U.S. assembled BEV expected to roll off the line in 2025. Simultaneously, a battery manufacturing plant is being constructed in Liberty, North Carolina, scheduled to begin operations in 2025 and expected to produce enough batteries for 1.2 million vehicles annually. In Japan, Toyota's Motomachi plant, one of its most historic production sites, is being revamped to serve as a key EV assembly hub. The company is also exploring production capacity increases in Europe, particularly in the UK and Turkey, where existing facilities can be upgraded for EV output. Just a couple of years back, Toyota executives were publicly voicing skepticism about fully electric vehicles, citing concerns about charging infrastructure, battery sourcing, and consumer readiness. Former Toyota president Akio Toyota famously warned that a rapid transition to EVs could strain global electricity grids and hurt the environment if power generation remained carbon intensive. While such concerns were not unfounded, they led to a perception that Toyota was lagging behind companies like Tesla and Hyundai in embracing the electric future. Now, however, Toyota has recalibrated its stance. The automaker is placing a strong emphasis on battery innovation, including plans to commercialize solid-state batteries by 2027. These batteries promise faster charging times, longer range, and greater safety than conventional lithium-ion counterparts. If Toyota succeeds in scaling this technology, it could leapfrog many competitors in terms of performance and durability. In 2023, Toyota engineers reported achieving a prototype solid-state cell capable of a 1,000-kilometer range on a single charge with a 10-minute recharge time. Despite its late start, Toyota's electrification strategy benefits from its experience in lean manufacturing and global logistics. The company's mastery of supply chain management, quality control, and cost optimization will become critical advantages as the EV sector matures and margins tighten. Moreover, Toyota's global dealership and service infrastructure, particularly in markets like North America, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East, gives it a logistical edge in EV rollout and maintenance support. Critically, Toyota's global strategy is demonstrating a nuanced shift towards regional adaptation, moving beyond its historically standardized, one-size-fits-all approach. This is particularly evident in its maneuvers within the world's two most influential and regulatory distinct automotive markets, China and Europe. In China, the world's largest and most competitive electric vehicle market, Toyota has recognized that a go-it-alone strategy is insufficient to capture the attention of discerning local consumers. To bridge the gap, the automotive giant has entered a strategic collaboration with BYD, China's preeminent EV manufacturer and battery technology leader. This partnership is far more than a simple procurement deal. It is a deep integration of expertise aimed at developing electric sedans specifically tailored to Chinese tastes and technological expectations. The first significant fruit of this collaboration is the Toyota BZ3, an all-electric sedan released in late 2022. The BZ3 is a testament to this symbiotic relationship. While Toyota provided its renowned prowess in vehicle design, quality control, and reliability, the BZ3's core electric powertrain leverages BYD's groundbreaking blade battery technology. Simultaneously, in Europe, Toyota is navigating a different set of market dynamics, primarily driven by the European Union's increasingly stringent emissions regulations. The EU's tightening fleet average carbon dioxide standards have created a powerful regulatory imperative that has rapidly accelerated EV adoption, forcing all manufacturers to recalibrate their lineups. In response, Toyota is methodically increasing its battery electric vehicle offerings to ensure compliance and maintain its significant market share. The company's European roadmap outlines a gradual but definitive transition.
By 2025, it aims for at least 10% of its total sales in the region to be zero-emission BEVs, with the substantial remainder of its portfolio continuing to be dominated by its established and highly successful hybrids and plug-in hybrids. This calculated pace, while not as aggressively all-in as the strategies deployed by European rivals like Volkswagen, which is betting heavily on its dedicated ID family, or Renault, nonetheless marks a clear and significant pivot for Toyota in the region. It represents a departure from its previously hybrid-exclusive electrification strategy, acknowledging that in the European context, pure battery electric power is no longer a niche option, but a mainstream requirement for long-term viability. This dual-track approach allows Toyota to meet regulatory mandates with its new BEVs, while continuing to leverage its unparalleled strength in hybrid technology, thereby offering a broad spectrum of electrified choices to European consumers. The era of Toyota sitting on the sidelines of full electrification is over. The coming years will test whether the world's largest automaker can reinvent itself fast enough to lead in the very arena it once hesitated to enter. Toyota's infrastructure and strategy is a major pillar of Toyota.